Good evening, this is Wally Henneberry along with Steve Spector tonight for your Hopkins and Hillers opening night game of basketball. Uh, Steve, looks like we've got a really good game ready for our first uh, night of the season. Uh, Norwood is uh, a really good team last year, especially they went to the state finals and lost to Malden Catholic. Yeah, they're uh, coming off a, a really solid season, and the Hillers uh, got into the tournament last year as well, didn't go quite as deep as Norwood. And uh, good crowd tonight, good energy in the building. Uh, the JV team won by 20 points. Got, got some good momentum so far, but uh, it's like to get the season started, and the, the, the Hiller boys start with a couple home games tonight and Friday night, so it should be, should be a great yeah, season. Yeah, it's exciting. A nice, nice start off at home for the first couple of games of the season. Tonight's varsity boys basketball game as the Norwood Mustangs take on your Hopkinton Hillers. The Tri-Valley League is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed toward competitors, game officials, or fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and the berating of players or officials. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect fans, coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thanks for your help in creating a positive, respectful, and fun environment here at HHS. And now for tonight's lineups. First, for the Norwood Mustangs, number zero, Nick Nemescal. Number two, Manny Alongo. Number 10, Maddie Mahoney. Number 12, Dylan Hemway. And number 14, Noah Badet. The Mustangs are coached by Chris Fraioli, assisted by Jack Powers, Sori Wellman, and Dylan Maida. And now for your hometown, Hopkins and Hillers. Number four, Zachary Hyman. Number 10, Jack Ionelli. Number 15, Tommy Chatton. Number 22, Cole Dysonroth. And number 23, Sam Pantera. The Hillers are coached by Tom Keene, assisted by Chris Banks, Jay Golden, and Cheney Gaudet, and Coach Scotty Mackin. Now, if all who are able could please rise for the playing of our national anthem. All right, here we're getting ready to uh, tip off things here. See, this is going to be a real tough test right out of the gate for the Hillers, I think, because we, like we were talking earlier, how Norwood had been to the state finals last year and lost. That's a 21-3 and record last year. Uh, that's going to be a tough one, to, 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 a tough test right out of the gate here. I agree with you, Wally. And, and you know, that looking at the, uh, the starting lineup for Norwood, uh, it includes the player of the year, uh, Noah, Bid Noah Bidette, uh, MVP of the Tri-Valley League uh, last year. And they're starting four seniors and a, and a junior. Um, Hillers will have a, bl a little bit more of a blend without going through the whole uh, individual ones. But that Sam Pantera, junior year, really expecting big things from him. Coming off a really successful uh, football season for him at a tight end. So uh, here we go. Yeah, he sure did. And it's amazing that uh, Baudet was the MVP as a junior last year. And coming back, hoping to repeat that. And here we go. Uh, the Hillers are in their uh, home whites going left to right. Norward in the away blues. 
And there's a shot by, uh, by Zach Hyman. Norwood with the rebound coming up and they kind of settle things down, try to get, oh, and they get one right underneath the basket for an easy two. Ooh. Coach Keen may not be too pleased with that right out of the gate. Oh, nice move. Oh, nice drive. Oh, wow. Nice drive by Jack Ionelli, and he's going to get a foul, and he's going to go to the line. Big, big shot by Ionelli to respond after that bit of a mental error to start the, the, uh, the defensively for the Hillers, but they made up for it and have a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, he came down, uh, saw a little <clears throat> opening, and took advantage of it. A real aggressive play. And he nice. hits the free throw. Hillers with their typical uh, pressure. Another fast break for uh, yeah. Norwood coming right down with a couple of passes, getting a nice bucket right wow. underneath. Hasn't been very many missed shots so far. No. <laughs> Everybody's there shooting 100% uh, from, the, from the field so far. What's well, a travel, I think. Yeah. That, uh, that could have been called the other way. That could have been a foul. But, could have been uh, kind of leaned on him a little bit. Yeah. All right, Ionelli taking the ball up, looking around. He's got Dysonroth over to uh, Chatton. Pantera. Pantera with the oh, drive. Oh, man. Nice layup. Used his body well. He protected the ball. Yeah, he sure did. And here comes Matty Mahoney with the pressure. Good pressure by the Hillers. And there's a foul. Ooh, that was a late call. Yeah, yeah. it sure was. Hillers are kind of giving up, a, you know, kind of losing guys under the basket there. Yep. Noah, Noah Bidette, again, he's the reigning uh, MVP of the Tri-Valley League from last year. Pretty stocky uh, guard forward, yeah. kind of does it all. I'm just guessing he, if he plays a second sport in the fall, it's football. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's missed his first free throw. <clears throat> we'll have to do some research on that at halftime. Yeah. Gets the yeah, friendly roll. Gets the second one to roll in for his points, first points of the season. Deep one. Big three Ooh. roll rolls out for, uh, for Chatton. Another rebound by uh, Norwood. And Mahoney brings the ball up. Looks like Hillers are in like a man-to-man oh, -man here. Soft man-to-man. -man. There it is. There's a turnover right there. Oh, oh good. Good, good defense by Chad. And then he got the ball, his hands right on the ball just as it went out of bounds. So now Mahoney's going to inbound. Over to Hamway. Hamway looking at Elongo. Hamway for the long three. No good. Hillers with the rebound. Here we come. Fast break. They don't not slowing things down. And one. No, on oh. the floor. There's a foul on the floor. Tommy Chatton had his mind made up going to the hoop. Right. <laughs> and he did a good job staying under control. Stopped at a dime. The classic box uh, underneath the hoop play. Right. They have learned that play since they were yeah. kids. <laughs> and there's three Chatton. for uh, Chatton. Wow, this is a good start by the Hillers. A lot of points only a couple minutes into the, the game. They've got 11 points already. Good shooting. Oh. Air ball. And the air student ball body for is, If we didn't know it was an air ball, we, you could certainly hear the student, right. Hoppington student body. Make sure everyone knows, knew that was a uh, didn't hit rim. Norwood's coming up with a little bit of a full court. Oh, it's Norwood's it's ball. Norwood ball. Inbound out to Bodette, back over to uh, to Mahoney. Mahoney's waiting. Over to Hamway, looking for Baudet. No, nope. back to Mahoney. There's now Baudet inside. Back Good to Baudet. For three. Oh, too uh, bad. Hustle save on the baseline, but he's out of bounds. 
That's, that's going to be Norwood ball. That's too bad. Longo actually had tipped it out. I don't know if Pantera had uh, got that memo on that one, but he tried to save it. It was probably going to be Hiller's ball if he just let it go out. But Right. Here we go. Some first substitutions for uh, the Hillers. We'll try to get those to you as we can get, kind of keep track. I mean, they look composed. A lot of times you come out of the gate, the adrenaline's really pumping. Right. They're really, they've got a really good balance. Yeah. He's bogged that back over to Hemway. Hemway inside to Alongo. Three-pointer for Norwood, no good. Rebound chat. That's a travel, I think. Yep. That was a good job by Mahoney. Saw the play developing on the outside, and he positioned himself and created that turnover, just be getting in his way. Drew really had no room to, to do anything. Here's Mahoney at the top of the key. He's looking to Sheehan. Sheehan to Baudet. Oh, back over to Mahoney. And there's Hamway for three in the corner. And he's missed a few of them from out yep. there already. Well, advancing the ball up to Chatton. That's DeLuca. Anthony DeLuca. Back to Ianelli. Chatton waits. Gives it back to Ianelli. Driving. Kicking it out. Chatton for three in the corner. He's Whoa. got it. Chatton's feeling that. That's a second three. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, six points for him. Good defense there underneath. Again, good defense oh, wow. not to give up, not to get a foul there. It's a strong play. By Bidette. By Anelli. To Chatton again. Chatton misses that one. Actually, that was DeLuca. In and out. Hamway for three gets robbed. Hiller rebound. Here they come. Looking for a lob. That looks like a foul. Well, they're looking for the alley oop play. Yeah. Keeping it below the rim, but still <laughs> looking for the lob. And there's a foul, but uh, it'll be Hiller's ball underneath. I don't know if Drew was looking for the um, alley oop dunk on that, but he was yeah. certainly uh, looking for the alley oop. Yeah. Looking to inbound it. They get it to Chatton for three. He's feeling it, man. He's got it. Nor doesn't have an answer for him at the moment. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to talk about it. He's already got nine points yeah. in the first quarter here. He's both dead. Getting pressed right there. Back to Hamway. Baseline drive. A little floater. No good. Norton with the rebound. Put back. No good. Oh, too bad. Oh. DeLuca tried to save that and just rolled off his fingertips. That's going to be uh, Norwood ball in the corner. Well, they're taking Tommy out after hitting three. I guess they're going to get some players in the game and get their legs under them yeah. first game of the year, but tough to take him out right yeah, now. Yeah, he's right. He's kind of in the zone. hot. Hamway. Good D. Around to Steves. Back to Baudet. Baudet behind his back trying to get in there. They're really playing really tough D on Baudet. Wow, that's a second air ball. Yeah. That was really the defense made that one happen. Nice interior pass right there. Oh. Interior pass from Pantera. Good over movement. To, over to Dodgerton. Yeah. Coach Keene's got to be pleased with this start. You know, they got, they got a lot of points. Still three minutes left in the quarter, and they got 17 right. points already. They're up by 10. Yep. In and out. Nice. Zach Hyman checking in for Ryan Ellie. And there's a hits one for the Dajian. The Dajian, thank yep. you. <laughs> I got to practice. I did saying confirm that. that. I, I did confirm that with a, a classmate of his uh, earlier in doing our extensive research before the game started. Right. <laughs> Yeah, turnover by the Hillers here, trying to really advance the ball. So Norwood ball into their own basket. Baudet's going to put it in. Like a 2-1-2 two, two trap. Yeah, full court uh, zone trap here. Gotta there get it is. Over half court, and now they're really trapping him in the corner. There it is. And there's the turnover. Ooh, off. Oh, I think yeah. that's going to be Norwood ball. The here. ref got it right there. Yep. But that's what you want to see. 
You, you trap them, and then when, once they get right over half court, if you're in that corner right over, yeah, the, is, over the timeline, you get them right there. Exactly. <laughs> the jump ball here. Possession arrow is going to be to Norwood. This is going to be Sheehan putting the ball in. Sheehan trying to get it to Bodette. Nope, he can't do it. He gets it over to Connell. They're swinging the ball around. Oh, kind of getting Skip confused pass. there. Yeah. Norwood controlling the ball. Bodette driving in, looking for an interior oh. pass. Doesn't have him. And the Hillers turn it over on an outlet pass here. Cole wasn't quite ready for that pass by yeah. a split second. Three-pointer in the oh, corner. No, oh, it doesn't go for Norwood. Yeah, we got a foul. Boy, uh, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, Norwood, it's just a couple things. They have three air balls. Not that I'm keeping track, but it, that, that's unusual, you know, just mm -hmm. to have three air balls in the first quarter for, for any team in high school varsity level. But uh, the, the rim hasn't been kind to them. They've had a couple go in and out. and But... Uh, down by 11 with two minutes left. There's plenty of time. You never know what's going to happen here. Right. And like you said, it's the first game of the season, guys. You know, the guys coming out with a lot of adrenaline. Yeah. He's chatting back in the game. Oh. oh. Jump ball. Mitch, they call it a jump ball. Jump ball. Mitch Simulus with a drive and a basket. They're going to call a jump ball. And uh, I didn't see that. Did he? he must have had a hand on the ball yeah. while in Forced him to take an extra step yep. with his hand you know, pressed on the ball. He's chatting in the corner for three. He's been hot, but he misses that one. That's a rebound for Norwood. And here they come. They're trying to get out there quickly. Oh, and he's wide open. Three in and out. Yep. Hiller ball. Look out. Here comes Pantera with it. Ooh, almost a travel. And he's looking. Oh, he tried to squeeze one in underneath the basket. And... Uh, there's a turnover, but Hiller's, uh, not a turnover, sorry, the ball gets knocked out of bounds. That's going to be Hiller ball. Connor Cho's going to put this ball in. He's a recent sub into the game. It's close. He's got to get it, get it in. Yep, there, he just, just beat the five seconds, and Norwood uh, steals it. So Mahoney over to Bodette. Bodette trying to drive left side, left handed, missed the layup. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, Simulus with a rebound and then a reach in by Bodette. Knocked it out of bounds. It's going to be Hiller ball. I think Bodette was trying to make the case that it went off of the Hiller, and I, it, was it was close. Sure. Here comes Zach Hyman with, up with the ball. Looking to get it over to Pantera. Into Tommy Chatton. Ooh, the Euro step for Connor Cho, and he gets fouled. That's he's Lauren Cho's brother. As I just make, as, as right. I, he's got some height. Yeah, he looks tall, doesn't yep. he? From here. I don't remember seeing him last year, so he must have been on the JV team last year. But uh, they got to fill in some of the the big the big body uh, spots on the roster, and he looks like he's one of them. Right. Left-handed shooter gets the first one. No bucket. Oh, had a violation. Had a lane violation. Yeah, too bad. Joe hit the shot, too. Yeah. So rare to see that called. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a rare thing. Refs usually let that stuff go if it's yeah. close. Well, Joe with the rebound. Norwood really struggling with uh, their offense. So Zyman with the Zach Hyman with the ball. He drives. Left little floater, wow. yeah, a little lefty floater, and it doesn't go. Norwood probably playing for one last shot here. Oh, no. I guess not. force it. Wow. No, they don't get it. And Tommy chatting up with the ball, looking over to Zach Ooh, Almost in travel. Yeah, he kind of skipped his feet there a little bit. His Pantera drives. Offensive, I think. Oh, yeah, offensive foul on Pantera. Good idea to be aggressive. Go to the hoop. The Hillers, no, no foul issues at this. They only have three fouls. Uh, Norwood has six. So 
Sam took a chance and went up strong. He, he ran over the Mustang player there. Kicked out, three-pointer doesn't go. <laughs> Desperation three for Mahoney yeah. doesn't go either. And the Hillers have a 12-point lead heading into the second quarter, 19-7. I think we're all. I think I'm a little surprised by this. I don't know. Are you surprised by seeing Norwood struggle and the offense I, like this? I mean, I had an open mind because when when a team usually you know goes so deep into uh, the playoffs like Norwood did last year, you, they they get oftentimes you get hit with graduation. That's just the sure. nature of the of the beast. And uh, so I, I didn't know what to to think. But you know they, they have some good players, but um, they're, they're not they're not shooting well. To your point earlier, um, and the Hillers came out really steady. They hit probably six out of the first eight shots and a few three pointers, and they were, um, they cooled down a little bit in the last few minutes. But they had a you know they had a ten point lead for a while. Right, and they they were really hot. Tommy Chapman was scorching hot with three three pointers. And to, to your point about graduation, you know, every time anytime you come to a, a school you know program or college or high school, the teams turn over you know pretty rapidly. Right. But this Norwood team has nine seniors on it, so you know not all of them were on the team last year. I'm assuming, but uh, that but that's a a mature team that you would think be able, would be able to handle, you know, the, withstand like the the rigors of a, of opening the game, you know, under pressure. Sure. Well, uh, we it just a, a different. And again, I'll make a comment about the opening night compared to last year with with, with the pandemic and everything going on. This is so much more normalized. Right. <laughs> and uh, to see a student section and uh, they've mm -hmm. been pretty well behaved so far. And uh, first game of the year, everyone's getting their legs under them, including the. Including the announcers, <laughs> right? Sure, exactly. <laughs> but uh, still getting to know the players. Yeah, it's good. Good crowd, Norwood. Good turnout. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Norwood. So it'll be. This is a kind of a fork in the road for the game. I mean, the, um, as I said a minute ago, the Hillers cooled off a little bit the last couple minutes, and um, but to see if they can get a little bit more moment, momentum going offensively. Yeah, it, right here, if uh, if Norwood can close it in the second quarter here and kind of get things under control for them, that would be a long way to make the game closer and, and more competitive the rest of the way. But if the Hillers continue what they're doing and, and open up this lead, it, it could be uh, you know an early night for everybody. It could be. Drive by Norwood and kick out pass goes out of bounds. So there's a turnover, an unforced yeah, error for exactly. Norwood. So Chatton's going to put this one in. Brian Ellie. Norwood showing some half-court pressure here into the corner. Back to Chatton. It's like a Norwood looking inside to Cho. Back out to Ionelli and then into the corner. Oof. Oof. For I mean, Hyman is, for a three. That is textbook. Coach Keen is going to love that. They worked about 20 seconds off the shot clock everybody for an open touched, three. Everybody yeah. touched the ball, moved it around. Oh, now we got a foul. On Tommy. I think it's on him. We're gonna find out in a second. Did, he, did they already motion? I think they did. I guess it's on on Zach Hyman. Mahoney with the ball, he swings it around. Alongo looking for it underneath, but he's got Cho on him. That's a good size matchup underneath. Could be three seconds though. Wongo's been in there for a long time. Well, he gets called for the foul instead. Joe's going to put the ball into Ionelli. Ionelli's going to take it up. No, he's going to throw it over to. Uh, Looking for a half court trap again. It back to Ionelli. There it is. Yeah, they're trying to work it over the uh, the zone half court trap. Tommy Chatton for three again in the corner. Doesn't go. Norwood coming back. Bodet with the ball goes baseline. A Ooh, little nice. floater. He finally gets his two points there. Hiller's trying to get the ball over half court. They do. Oh, he wasn't looking. Cho wasn't looking for that one. He caught it right in the chin. Wow! Ooh, great pass. What a no look behind over the shoulder yeah, pass from Mahoney. Yeah, some contact there. That's. Norwood showing a little bit of uh, resiliency here. 
Stars got the ball, drives in, kicks it out for a layup. Ooh, nice block by Longo. Yeah. Here comes Bodet. He's out of bounds. He lets the ball go out of bounds off himself. So that's wow. another turnover. Hiller ball. The Dejian checks back in. I'm hearing some of the uh, Norwood fans over here to my left, and uh, this woman's giving, putting some, uh, giving me some stuff to talk about. She said it's a long game, and it's true. Oh, there it is again. Oh, nice layup by Ian Ellie. It's the second time he's done that, I think, yep. tonight. Yep. He opened the game with a drive for yeah. the layup. He's got the little English off the glass to spin it in off the, back, off the backboard. Yeah, surprisingly, long arms, like, really held the ball away from himself, protected the ball by holding it, you know, out in front of him, away from his defender. And he's going in the line for another one. Oh, misses the layup. I mean, the free throw. That's too bad. Mahoney kicks it over. Oh, a foul on Chatton. That could have been an easy no call. Yeah, that's a. If it was a soccer game, it would have been a play on, maybe. Right. Norwood substituting. Dylan Hamway back in the game. Mahoney putting the ball in. He's going to get it in quick. There it is. Oh. Good defense by the Hillers on that. They, they managed to get the, the, uh, the turnover. Tommy chatton has got the ball on the elbow. He's looking. He kicks it out. Cole. Three-pointer. Three-pointer for Cole Diesenroth. Nice stroke. I can remember a couple games last year, Cole, get, he, he's capable of getting hot from three-point land. Stop and pop, Ooh, nice job. Nice little mid-range jumper from Mahoney. Yeah, kept himself in control. Oh, yeah. Pantera with a, with a nice cut and got it passed down the lane. And he missed the layup. Nora with, with the rebound being harassed underneath. Oh, oh that's... Oh, almost got a, had a takeaway. Quite a busy sequence there, a lot going on. Yeah. Ball went off Norwood, but hit Ch Ch Chatter, uh, Chatton. Who's standing out of bounds. standing out of bounds. <laughs> well, the, even the deflection, it was a, actually a, a deflection that created the, an easy layup for the Norwood player. I, don't, I didn't see who that was. And he missed a bunny layup, which I, right. it looked like he was going in. But. And it looked like if it, if it wasn't deflected by Hopkinton, one of the Hillers would have uh, yeah. intercepted it. Exactly. Well, tipped it away from his own defender. Yeah, so next, next, uh, the next game for the Hillers is this Friday night. So they open up with, uh, with two home games, uh, and uh, this, tonight's game is not on H -Cam, uh, H Cam, but it's on YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube slash H Cam TV, you'll be able to watch this game live. If you're not already doing so, but you can tell your friends to do that. <laughs> yeah. I guess that would, they would, would be doing be. that by now, right? Later on this week on H Cam, though, we do have on Wednesday we've got um, Hiller Varsity. Wrestling uh, versus Ashland at 6 p.m. And the swimming team will take on Ashland and uh, at, from Milford at 7 o'clock. And then the Hiller boys hockey team uh, will be at 8 o'clock with Tom Nappy on the call at, on HCAM on Wednesday. And then Friday, like you said, the Hiller boys will be uh, here at 7 o'clock. And Tom and uh, Steve Hain will have the call. Because you and I have pl plans Friday night, right? Um, not, not necessarily together. I actually right. have a gig. My, my band is playing <laughs> at the Woodville Rod and Cl Gun Club in in-town private party. I can't get into the details here. But hey. back to the game. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice to have something to plug. See if we can invite you guys. Three-pointer by Norwood is missed. Oh, we've got a foul on, uh, on Ryan Kelly of Norwood. That's going to be Hiller Ball. And they're in the bonus, I think. So, so just something I picked up. I, I watch a lot of news around here over the years, and Nick Bodet is in the odd, is in the stands. So he's a reporter. And I, I'm just guessing it's his son, yeah, Noah. Well, probably, so. yeah. His father is dead. So that's uh, that happens sometimes. I mean, one year, Danny Ainge's son played here, and Steve Burton of Channel 4's daughter played here once. Right. He, they used to, the Burtons used to live Long in town. Long-time Hopkins yeah, residence. Exactly. Yeah. So Pantera here at the line, shooting uh, probably one and one at this point. Oh, he misses the first one, but they get the rebound. Nice recovery. Back to Pantera, oh, lays it wow. up and in. 
Anthony DeLuca, offensive rebound. Bodette looking around, I can't get the shot off. Over to Mahoney, tipped away. Back to Bodette. Oh, oh nice. nice interior pass. Nice block. Yeah. Cold. Over to uh, Nemesco, missed it. Cold Here comes Pantera. He's going to take it to the hoop again. Nice drive and a bucket. Wow. Extending the lead here, 18 points. Bodette with a little floater, and he gets two. Hiller's kicking the ball around. Back to Ionelli with the drive. He got bumped. That should have been a foul. Yep, definitely contact there. Ref's letting the boys play yep. a little bit. It's not the worst thing in the world. Especially with a big lead. Yep. No, we're kicking the ball around. Bogut's got it at the top of the key. He's working now. Ionelli's got him. Ooh, almost a travel. Oh, boy. Stuff. Hillers with a swarming defense right there. They get a turnover, and Pantera is coming back to the bucket, and he misses the shot. But he's fouled, and he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Good job by Sam keeping his body under control. Again, last year, even as a sophomore last year, he I, I can remember at least a few games where he just was unstoppable. He he has the ability and uh, from our generation to some degree. I'm a, I got a few years on you in the wrong direction, <laughs> Wally, but we're both Framingham guys. But, right. but Kevin McHale... You know, well, uses, his body, uses his body as That's right in our sweet spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But Sam uses his body really well, protects the ball, and, and, and keeps, his, keeps uh, his body under control, and that was a good example of that. Right, and like McKinley, keeps the ball high. Yep. Which is, uh, you know, it's hard to teach and hard for kids to, to remember. Here he is, the second shot. And he hits them both. <laughs> And he's got eight points. Logan Del Ponte in the game now. So Pantera subs out. Logan Del Ponte in the game. We got Zach Hyman and Logan at the guards. Looks like, and they're going into a full court zone press. Oh, and they got they've got him in the corner. Nobody's he's struggling with the press. Oof. Three pointer by Bodet is an air ball. And there's a baseline violation by uh, Norwood. That's going to be uh, Hiller ball. So Hyman's going to take it up. Three-quarter press for uh, for Norwood. Into DeLuca. DeLuca back over to Simulus. Back around to DeLuca. Del Ponte back to DeLuca. Oh, sorry. That's Simulus. Hyman's got it. Looks at Del Ponte in the corner. Good D by Norwood. Yep. DeLuca, the shot clock's down to almost five. And Hyman with the shot. It's just off. Beats the three out of the, the shot clock. It's good that the Hillers get a chance to open up their bench a little bit. Oh, nice right. play. Simulus with a layup. He gets two. Sophomore. One of the only two or three sophomores on the, on the roster. Oh, head oh. Turnover by, uh, by Hyman with a steal, and he saved it right back to Norwood, who went for a layup but missed. Oh. oh, there's a steal. Hyman gets his uh, pocket picked. And a layup nice for... Play. That's a layup for Dearborn. That's two for him. So here comes Hyman. He's got two guys on him. He gets it over. Del Ponte to a, night, to a cutting uh, DeLuca who misses the layup. Now Norwood coming back and forth. Three-pointer. And that's off the uh, the shot clock, and it'll be out of bounds. That's Hiller ball. Tommy Chatton checking back in, and so is Cole Dysonroth. That was a nice little stretch by the, uh, I'd say the um, the green team, yeah, uh, the second team, the second yeah. team, and they 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 extended the lead a little bit and yeah. controlled the ball. That's that's pretty good stuff to yeah. see this early in the season. Right. Hyman with the ball gets it over half court. Drives it down. He's in the corner. He's getting getting double teamed there. And there's a rips. There's a steal by Bodet. He rips it away from him. He comes down the other end for a layup, and he's nice got two play. more. Nice left hand by Bodet. Yeah. Timeout. We got a whistle here. Timeout. Coach Keen saw something he didn't like. Yeah, Bodet with a layup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, and, some, uh, some good D down the other end, a, t- a steal and a layup. Yeah, he wants to reset. Maybe, maybe he didn't like that people weren't getting back. That's not for me to decide, but he, he decided to gather his troops a little bit. Yeah, just to kind of bring every, rein everybody back in. It, it is a critical point. You know, they, I think they had, a, what was their lead at halftime, a 12-point lead, and now it's, you know, 16 points. So the, the net net is they're, they're, they're extending the lead, but uh, the trending, uh, it's, I don't think he wants to spend the next minute and a half uh, having that lead shrink. Yeah, so. you don't, we don't want everybody to get sloppy running back and forth. You want everybody to pull it back in and make sure you're running your offense and you're doing what you're supposed yeah. to be doing. So this coming Saturday also on uh, HCAM, we've got uh, another hockey game, uh, 8 o'clock against Holliston with uh, Tom Nappy on the call. Trying to get through all of our up- upcoming plugs here. Give a quick shout-out to Mary Arnett, Andy Ritz, and Mike Tarosian. Behind the scenes here making it happen. Here we have three cameras. And two, two camera people, and I don't know how they do that. That's some, some sort of a... Yeah, it's a sleight of hand <laughs> trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. so there's another three-pointer by Chatton, I think. Oh, nice spin move. Ooh, nice. Yep, we did miss a three-pointer there. We were chatting there. Brian Dearborn with a nice move, did everything except put the ball in, and fortunately made the move, but uh, missed the shot. So now we've got an offensive foul here on the Hillers, and that's on, uh, that's going to be on Anthony, Anthony DeLuca. Logan Del Ponte taking a breather. And so is uh, DeLuca. Yeah, now. Nice play. Hillers really showing some, just some light, Full court pressure there, and Norwood took advantage of it. They just ran right through it. Yep, they had, have a little bit of a cushion in there playing as such, you know. Right. Oh, and that's a nice look. Great, great cut by Chatton down ah. the line. And uh, Tadejian with a great pass. Yeah, totally delivered on that one. Oh, there's a steal by Ionelli. Chatton again. It's a kick. Yeah, fumbling it around and a kick ball. And that's going to be Norwood ball. It's getting a little sloppy. Yep. You know, with a big lead, it's um, you know, almost uh, understandable. But that's why he called the timeout, I'm sure. Yep. 20, 19-point lead at the moment. You don't see that too often, yeah. especially against a defend, well, state champ, uh, R- state finals. Yeah. yeah. So we're down to 15 seconds here in the half. Hillers are pressing the ball everywhere they get. Oh, wow. Oh, almost got a turnover there. Oh, we got a foul here with four seconds to go. And that's a one and one. That's a seventh uh, team foul. So, you know, it's not like uh, the game's over. There's a whole half to go right. and anything could happen. Right. Any, any given day, as they say. And this is Brian Dearborn here shooting two or one and one, right? I think it's a one-on-one, yep. He hits the first one. And he's got three points, or at least as far as I've tracked it. <laughs> he misses the second. Chatting with the three rebound. Seconds. He's got two seconds. He lets it go, and Ooh, he's going to go out of bounds. Not, not a bad effort. No, he got it the length of the floor. Well, so at the half, we've got uh, the Hillers 40 and uh, Norwood 22. So that's an 18-point lead. We'll, uh, the Hillers will take that into the uh, into the locker room and, and enjoy it. I think, I mean, th- there's not much to say. If they're halfway to 80 points, that, that's, I don't know what they averaged last year, but it was, I don't know they averaged 80 points a game last year. But that's a good pace. It was really yeah, steady. It sure is, yeah. And uh, defensively, um, Norwood got 15 points in the second quarter versus only seven in the in the first quarter. But uh, 15 points in the second quarter, kind of. But even even with that, uh, the Hillers extended the lead. So uh, yeah, great start for the Hillers, and uh, we get another half to go. Yeah, and I'm thinking you know a lot of those points came with like we were saying the green team or the second team in there. Even though they extended the lead, they kind of did kinda, you know get a little loosey there on uh, defense, you know letting Norwood kind of get their points, which 
is you know kind of understandable, but uh, you know something that I'm sure Coach Keen uh, will keep his eye on. And as soon as that happens again, he'll put the the, the first teamer back back in to keep things uh, out of reach. Yeah, sounds good. So we'll take a short break for the half, and uh, we'll be back shortly for the second half. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your halftime, and here we are back at uh, the Hillers uh, game for the Norwood, and right now the Hillers enjoy a 40-22 to 22 lead just at halftime, getting ready to start the second half. Steve, what do you think we can expect to see here? Well, I, I mean, what I'd like to see and what we expect uh, could be two different things, but, I, I mean, if the Hillers can keep the pace up, um, they, they really control the ball. I don't, I didn't, we're not, we don't have the, the ability to keep track of the turnovers, but there weren't, really weren't too many of them. Norwood had a few. Um, and Nor Norwood shooting compared to Hoppington shooting with two different stories altogether. Norwood had a handful of air balls, right. again, first game. Um, so they're, they're, I don't know if it's a matter of being prepared or not, but again, as we said earlier, when you, when you go to a state final, you, people graduate. So I think uh, right. hopefully we'll have a competitive second half. Uh, right now the, the Hillers get, get an 18-point cushion to start the second yeah, half. I hope we see more of the same. And without the reasons why, yeah, definitely the uh, Norwood offense struggled and the Hillers' uh, offense really was clicking. No doubt. And here we go. And we got uh, Hyman driving in with the baseline. He misses Longo with the rebound. Norwood coming up left to right in their uh, away blues. Resetting here for you. Hillers in the home whites. Mahoney with the ball, looking inside to uh, Long Luongo on the high post. Mahoney with the mystery pointer. Ionelli coming down the court, looks over to Hyman with the layup. Oh, nice. And he hits it. That is a tough shot, Zach Hyman. That is. That's a really tough shot. He contorted his body to get the shot off somehow. Yeah, I think it was a, a great dish by Ionelli, too, to get the defenders all on him in the lane and then dro drop it to, uh, to Hyman so he could do his work. Ooh, nice block. Oh, Ooh, and that's almost like a. I think Pantera might have tipped that in. Accidental. Just tipped off of trying to get. Oh, there's a nice. Ionelli really likes to drive the whole way. Oh. Chatton for three. Another three. Chatton, I don't know how many points he had. We'll have to talk about that. But that's his, at least his fourth three of the game. Yeah, I've got him down for uh, 17 points. And yeah, definitely his fourth yep. three. Ooh. But boy, Ionelli really uh, puts his head down, and he takes it to the hole hard. He, not a big kid, but really gets gets his nose down in there where you would think it doesn't belong. And he does some good things when he gets there. No question. Yeah, he uses his body well and uh, has his head up all the time. And he waited to the the last second to, to dish the ball over to Hyman, who, again, made a really sweet uh, layup. Right. So Mahoney in to Hamway. Hamway with a little floater. Ooh. Hamway with a little lefty floater at the, at the uh, free throw line there. And Ionelli with the ball puts on the floor over to Hyman. Hyman comes around to the top of the key. Turns around. He goes down the lane. Kicks it out to chat and takes a fake. Goes in. Oh, drops it for Hyman. But uh, good idea. Tor turnover there for, uh, for Norwood. And Hamway back over to Bodette. Bodette's going to drive. Oh, oh, great block. Uh, I think that was Chatton. Yep. Nianelli takes it in for a layup. That's going to be oh. out of bounds off of Norwood. It's going to be a Hiller ball, but Ionelli's down. And he hit the ground hard. And he looks like he's sore. A little bit on the... On the Hopefully he didn't twist anything. It was I think it was of, more of a bump on his yeah. hip or, or, you know, lower back. Not that either one of them is better, but I... I yeah. Landing hard versus rolling an ankle, two different things. Absolutely. Yeah. Hillers with a 19-point little cushion right here with, with the ball. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Got to get the ball in. Yeah, gets it into chat and chat in the corner, puts it on the ground, oh. lays it out there for nobody. And Ilongo takes it, drops it for Hamley with a layup. And Hamley with two more. A little mental error there. Yep. Hyman in the corner with the ball. Looking, looking, looking. Gets Dysonroth, who misses it, gets his own rebound, kicks it over. The Dijagen puts it up. And he misses Norwood ball coming up. Mahoney gets it over to Alongo, kicks oh, it out, and that's going to go over and back. That's going to be a turnover. 
Uh, so the Hiller's going to take it here at half court. We're just over half court. Zach Hyman getting a quick breather and DeLuca back in the game. Dysonroth's going to put the ball in. Tyanelli, Ianelli's got it. Dysonroth driving. And he gets oh, fouled by, uh, by Bodette. It's like a pretty clean block up here. There might have been some body contact. I don't think Bodette agreed with that. Yeah, call. I think you're right. I think it's more on the body and uh, or you know on the offhand. Yep. Certainly, uh, Drew did a good job taking to the hoop there. Yeah, he's going to shoot two. Ooh, in and out just misses the first. Uh, So Cole with the second one, he hits the second one. So he's got, looks like, as far as I've got him, for four points. We do our best. <laughs> wow. Chatting with a rebound over to Ionelli, who's going to bring the ball up quickly. He pulls it back out, tries to set things up. Oh, he's got Dizemrock cutting the back door, but uh, couldn't get to him. Chatton's got it now at the top back to Ionelli. Ionelli's going to look. Oh, he gets the ball poked away, but keeps it. Now he's got his man on his back, and he's going to drive the lane. Oh. No call, and it's out of bounds off the Hillers. Ionelli kind of threw himself to the Wolves there, uh, trying to get the ball up and over the rim. He, he really uh, did throw himself. There. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best description I, 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 would, I would agree with that. And that was another tough landing. That was a, two hard landings in the last minute and a half. For him. Right, right. Here comes Mahoney with the ball. He's looking around. He's, Bodette drives down the lane, doesn't get it. Over to Hamway. Hamway with a three-pointer, doesn't hit it. Ball Ooh. kicks around, gets through everybody's legs, and it's going to roll out of bounds. Body's flying everywhere. And that's going to be Hiller ball. That ball came down under the basket and uh, rolled all the way to half court and went out of bounds. No one could grab it. Both teams playing hard. Yep, DeLuca's now in the game. He's going to put the ball in. Ionelli trying to break free. He oh, gets it. it. He's going to go down the lane. Kicks it out around to DeLuca. Sees Ionelli in the corner. Ionelli's going to drive again. He kicks it out for a three-pointer in the corner. That's just missed. Hillers are fighting for the offensive rebounds, but they don't get it. But good fight there. And here's Hamway with the ball over to Mahoney, who hits the three-pointer. Still time for Norwood to get back in the game. I'm not rooting for that to happen, but this, this <laughs> but is way too much time. For, definitely for uh, Hopp enough time. Coppington can't get too comfortable here. Well, they can't settle for shots like that either. That's yeah. too bad. That's Simulus with a three-pointer. Probably an ill-advised three-pointer. Three-pointer by Hamway goes out of bounds off of Norwood, and that's going to be Hiller ball. I don't, th I don't think uh, Coach Fra Fraoli agreed with that call. No, and he was right there. He was pretty close to yep. it, too. All right, so Ionelli gets the ball in. He's going to take it up slowly. He's got Chatton there to help him. They're going to come over and double-team him. Back to Ionelli. Got to get over half court. Chatton does. Here comes the trap, Ooh, there. and is the turnover. And here comes... Hamway, oh, with a layup, but he gets a block Beautiful. by Chatton. Chatton, everyone's coming down. Ionelli behind his back, drives the lane, puts it up, and he's going to go to the line. He misses, but he's been fouled. And he's down on the ground again. <laughs> Tommy Chatton kind of making up for, uh, you know, uh, I mean, to Norwich's credit, they're, they're, they're doing whatever they can to create a turnover. That's the only way they're going to get back in the game is to have stops and turnovers. And they got one. Uh, you can see Tommy... Uh, talking to himself a little bit on the foul line that he threw the ball away a little bit, but then he came back and made an unbelievable block. Yeah, he, came, yeah, he stuck with the play, came all the way back, and, and made a fantastic block. Ionelli hits his first free throw. Sam Pantera back in the game. They probably need some rebounding, and he'll help with that. And Ionelli gets the second one to drop in. Well, got him for seven points at this point. Zach Hyman in for Ionelli. They're kind of interchangeable. They both play similar games. Right. Yeah, and uh, Ionelli could probably uh, take a breather right now. <laughs> Zach Hyman looking over, and now we got Bodette with the ball. He's kind of double teamed. Over to Hamway, back over to Mahoney. Oh, nice. Underneath. Beautiful play. Yeah, underneath to Nemesco for two. 
Good patience Here by Norwood on that. Yep, DeLuca for three. Steps into it. And he misses it. Uh, Norwood rebounds. Nemesco with the rebound. Or, I'm sorry, Nemesco. And there's a three-pointer in the corner by uh, Norwood that, that rims out. Dodges in with the rebound and brings it all the way up over to Pantera. He's going to go down the lane. Oh, he misses the layup, but he gets the ball back underneath. Oh, nice. Nice dish. And one. Oh, yes. Wow. Pantera with a nice dish to Mitch Simulus, who uh, gets fouled and lays it in. Boy, that was quite a collision, too. I mean, that was two big bodies kind of uh, colliding. And, and really showed a soft touch on the release with that, too. He had a little spin on the ball. No backboard, just swished it in. Yeah, just dropped it right over the rim. That's a nice, soft touch. And he's going to shoot M1 right here. And there's Mitch nice. Simulus' fifth point of the game. That's a nice three-point play. Yeah, and it really is, and, and I think it came at a great time for uh, the Hillers. So Hamway over to Mahoney. Mahoney looking. He's got a double team on him. Oh, Pantera gambled there. Oh, no, that was DeLuca gambled. Nice play. And there's two points for Norwood. Bodette taking it strong. Yep. Oh, Norwood ball. Hillary's going to plead their case, but that's going to be Norwood ball. You never win those arguments. No. <laughs> Not without replay. And I'm sorry we yeah. don't have replay. Yeah. Mahoney's going to take the ball up. And he's met by Zach Hyman at half midcourt. Oh, well, we've got a foul here on Norwood. Nick Nemitz call? Oh, no, I guess not. You no, know, they're going to call it on, on uh, the Hillers. And that's, that's on two this, team fouls uh, in this half for the Hillers. Oh, well, now we got another one. Make it three team fouls. Yeah. That one's on uh, Sam. Two quick ones. And I've got him for one in the first half, so that's three. Yep. Yeah, 16 point lead. Make it 15. Yeah. Joe coming back in the game for Sam Pantera, who, like to your point, three, three foul. Uh, Save a, might as well save him for the fourth quarter anyway. Oh, we just lost our score scoreboard. Oh, oh, that's too bad. There's another another point for Norwood. Oh. Yeah, they got a situation. Yeah. They just had a it's officials timeout here. If the scoreboard went out, hopefully we have uh, what was it, 51 to 36. I don't know. We'll find out when yep. it comes back. They've got it in the book down there. So yeah, right. Fortunately, yeah. But again, we want to thank our crew of Mary Arnott, Andy Ritz on the cameras, and then um, Mike the Tiger, Tarosian, producing, directing. Doing it all. Um, delegating. He's doing the whole thing. And uh, we appreciate their support tonight and always. And uh, it takes a village, as they say, to put these games, to, the, the production stuff together for HCAM TV and YouTube uh, and what we do here. So. Uh, it's not as easy as you and I make it look. We just show up and <laughs> everything's running, so I don't know how that goes, but certainly uh, a fun thing to do. Good to be part of the, uh, stay involved with the athletics. Uh, this one of the nicest facilities in, in the state, Tri-Valley Tri League for sure, Hopkinton Athletic Center. A lot of visiting teams always comment what a, what a great facility it is, which is true. And uh, hopefully we'll have a good finish here. Get the clock back on. That's good. Yep, scoreboard back up, 51-37. We were really close. Yeah. What's a couple points here and there, right? Well, it's down to 14. It was up to close to 20, so. Yeah, they were up at an 18-point lead on yeah. just a half a minute ago. The officials are still at the table talking. Possession arrow will favor uh, Norwood on the next uh, held ball, so keep that in mind. Looks like Tom Keen wants to make some substitutions. It's got Tom Chattel com coming back in. And uh, Cole Dysonroth. So to reset, we've got uh, Chattel, Dysonroth, Cho, Hyman, and Mitch Simulus in there. 
And uh, Norwood's looking like they're going to be playing here a uh, full court man-to-man uh, -man press here. Looking for a steal. Easy. So he's got to get rid of it. And we go back to Hyman over half court. That's what you want. Break the press, then set up your offense. And they are really trapping right here. Yeah, and there's a foul. What did he call it? Oh, he must have called a travel. Yeah. Close there's, one. A, there's a turnover for uh, the Hillers. That's what the uh, the traps do. Yep. Oh, Three pointer boy. for uh, for Norwood, and they're coming back. All of a sudden, it's 11 points. Three Too much time left for Canal. Yep. Easy. Oh, well, that was a tough one to show. He, now he's lost it. Here comes Norwood again. Bodette with the ball, over to Mahoney. Or is that hand? That's Hamway. A little drive, a little floater, misses. Norwood with the rebound. Back to Hamway. Up for three from the corner. That's off. And we've got a foul on Norwood. Over Clear the back. Up. Yep. And that's going to be Hiller Ball. And that's going to be the fourth team foul on uh, Norwood. Again, uh, Norwood showing a full court press here. This time, not in a man to man. They're in his own press here. And we got a timeout uh, by Hillers here. Tom Keene wants to reset and get his guys prepared to go full court the rest of the way. Yeah, well, you know, looking at the score, the first half, the, uh, the Hillers scored about, uh, you know, 40 points. So 20, give or take 20 points a quarter, was 19 and 21. And now with a minute left in the third quarter, they've only scored 11 points in this quarter. So you got to give credit to Norwood for stepping up their D and intensity. And um, the, yeah, Hillers are, the Hillers are at the same time have cooled off a little bit, but Norwood's forcing them to, to take a uh, – uh, there's more turnovers happening on the, on the Hillers' side, unfortunately. But uh, right. anyway, and I think we're going to have – it's not as, not as uh, much of a gap as we, we had about three minutes ago. Right, it's an 11-point game. Um, and, you know, the shooting cooling off is uh, also a product of Norwood playing tighter defense here I and mean, a little more energetic defense. Definitely, but uh, certainly both teams are, you know, this game uh, can go any way right now. And uh, I, I think I think Norwood has the ability, they have a, a couple of players with Baudet and um, Mahoney, uh, put, put, you know, in particular have the ability to kind of take it to the hoop strong and uh, get some momentum going. So the, right. the Hillers need to deal with that. And I think Norwood's goal was to get it down to 10 points or under by the end of the third quarter, and they're right there. Yep. So the next minute will be a big uh, determination on how we go. If the Hillers can score a few a few buckets and bring it back up to, they say, 15 points, that would be a big help. But if Norwood gets these turnovers and brings it down under 10 points at the end of the third quarter, we're gonna, they'll be in trouble. Ionelli gets it out, back over to Cho. Cho's looking back to Ionelli. Ionelli's got it, looks underneath. And Beauty. he's got uh, Hyman underneath, a little guy underneath. I uh, hate to call him a little guy, but he gets in there with under the trees and he get, lays it in. Isaiah Thomas was a little guy. He's a good player. Right. <laughs> Spud Webb. I bet, he, I bet he wouldn't want me to call him a little guy, right. though. And there's a three-pointer by the Norwood. Doesn't go, but Nemesco nice with a, a rebound, he puts it back in for two. He's a big kid. Yeah. And here comes uh, Hyman with the ball back over to Ionelli. Fakes the guy, gets nice it over half fake. court. Gets it over to Hyman. He's looking, looking, looking. He's get double teamed. Nice over skip. to Chattel for three, and he oh. got it. He's got it. Tommy's got to be have big bucket up to twenty points or something. Yeah, I've right? got him for twenty. Offensive oh, foul. it is an off. Oh. oh, they're gonna call him for a block. Another blocking foul on the Hillers right there on uh, INS on Ionelli. Body's flying everywhere there. Yeah. That, yeah, that could have gone either way. It looked yeah. like a block. I mean, a charge, but. Uh, he might have been moving. Yeah. So Mahoney's going to put the ball in for Norwood. He gets into Bodette, puts up a th quick three, and it bounces oh, around, oh, doesn't oh, go. Oh, oh. So the Hillers have uh, brought the lead back up to 14 points here, so 56-42. They were hope I think Norwood was hoping to get it down to 10 or under, and uh, right there we were talking a minute ago, and I think the Hillers uh, did a good job of uh, kind of protecting their lead there. They did under the circumstances. Norwood still got 20 points that quarter, so that's a that's an improvement certainly. And um, there's no way that the the Hillers could maintain that same pace for four quarters in a row. So the fact that it runs uh, uh, the 
the fact that the uh, Norwood squeezed the gap a little bit is not a big deal here. So, yeah, we have uh, some old friends here. Rich Szczytski is coming, coming up to say hi to him. Got the, the, the Hoppington swag here. And uh, his boys played hoops here a couple of years ago. They're, they're down Georgetown. I don't know where they go. But anyway, it's good to see some familiar faces. <laughs> and, and, again, as I said earlier, there's this time last year, everyone had masks on in here. So this is nice to have no masks. I know you're welcome to wear them. But uh, it's, it's just good to be pretty normal here. Good, good student body section. They've been pretty well behaved, I've got to say. Uh, that might change as the season gets along and when they, they play Ashland or somebody. Or right, home. and the game's not that close, so there's no reason to get uh, a, a, no reason to get upset or anything like that over bad calls. So they're keeping it uh, keeping it good. But uh, we're, I think we've got a big fourth quarter ahead of us. Uh, Norwich, Norwich showing that they have uh, some fight left in them. So we'll see where that goes. Yeah, you got Scotty there, and so, so some of the, the parent section. Uh, Good to see uh, live basketball, live winter sports here at Hoppington. I, I, I made a note to myself, the uh, soccer team here, the boys soccer team had a great run too. They went to the state finals and lost a tough one at the end to Oliver Ames. But uh, congratulations to the, the Hoppington boys soccer team for a great season. Yeah, they did have a great season. It's a shame the way it ended. They were winning right up till the end, and two goals yep. to, uh, at the close at the end of the game exactly. took it away from them, which Anything, was a shame. Anything could happen. Ooh, it gets a jump ball. Ooh. It's going to be off the Hillers, and uh, it's going to be Norwood ball. Nice drive by Bodet. Clean block, out of bounds off the Hillers is the call. Oh no! Well, no, I think you're right. They uh, they changed the uh, arrow of possession. They're gonna yeah. They called that a jump ball. Yeah, it looked like a jump ball to me. Yeah. But the referee did not signal jump ball. That's what uh, got me going, thinking the wrong thing. Yeah. So now the arrow of possession will favor the Hillers after the next uh, jump ball. Oh, Ooh, nice what block. a great block! They inbounded it to uh, Bodek, who was going back door, and he got blocked. Now the Hillers have it. They're swinging it around. Hyman's got it at the top of the key. He's looking around. He's got it to Ionelli. Ionelli takes it to the top of the key. He's looking to drive, but he can't get through. He brings it back out, draws out the defense over to Hyman. Hyman looked to take a three, puts it down, takes it in for a quick two. Oh, wow. great three, rebound. Oh, Anthony DeLuca, DeLuca with the rebound and put back, but he couldn't get it to fall. Good work by him. Yeah, and he almost had his, the second offensive rebound there too. Ryan Dearborn with the ball, looking oh, underneath, and he's got him right underneath. That's two easy points for Mahoney. There's been a few breakdowns in the Hillers. Again, when they have a little bit of a cushion, it doesn't doesn't really uh, present itself as obviously when you have an 18-point lead. But right. Oh, DeLuca's going to lose that. He did. He got a little careless with the ball. He got it poked away, and then he uh, Pick up a fouled, frust frustration he fouled foul. the guy trying to get it back. Yep. So that's five team fouls on the Hillers here. And it's early in the uh, fourth quarter. Two more, and they're in the bonus. Anthony DeLuca coming yeah, off. He comes off. He's a junior, so he's got he's got plenty of time. Oh, right. look at that. Wide open again. Same play. Oh, what a recovery block. Oh, oh there's sorry, DeLuca. Yeah, he's no. still in there. Sorry. It was Simulus that came yeah, out. I'm sorry. Yeah. DeLuca with a recovery block on that. He was left alone under the hoop and good recovery. He's got some hops. Yeah, he really got up there for that one. But they've they've lost guys under the hoop a couple of times today. Yep. And there's in the corner. There's a three-point attempt. Oh. That's good. And that's Mahoney for three. It's 11 points. Uh -oh. Ooh, a turnover by the Hillers. That's too bad. All right. Norwood's getting some life here. They're down only by nine. They've got it under 10. That three-pointer was a big yeah, one. Right. So here comes Mahoney with the ball. Over to Bodet. Bodet looking over. That's going to be. Oh. Oh, that is going to be Hamway for three. And it's wow. a six point game here. Norwood's clawed its way all the way back. And a uh, big, understandable timeout by Tom Keene here. He wants to get the Hillers all on the same page here. Well, so far this quarter, again, I'm just keeping track of the. My math skills are a little, have eroded a little bit, but. 
the, the Hillers had 56 points after the third quarter, and mm -hmm. now we're two minutes into the practically, and they have they have not scored in the fourth quarter, and um, and Norwood scored eight. So yeah, eight nothing so far. They're on an 8-0 run. That's not a good trend, and um, I don't know if the Hillers are just. I think it's just a combination of, uh, you know, Norwood just really really sticking to their guns and waiting for things to happen, and they, they definitely turned up the intensity. Uh, just the exact phrase yeah. I was going to use, yeah. that Norman turned up the intensity on defense here, and I think that's really um, you know, changed things for the Hillers, who have had such an easy go of it for most of the game defensively. So to, to be presented with the higher intensity is, uh, is, is a problem for uh, the Hillers' offense right now. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, everything is critical. Every possession, there have been, uh, I don't know, we have the stats for the free throws, but free throws are going to be a factor. Um, both teams have been pretty pretty decent so far um, on, in that department, but I think right now it's going to come down to taking care of the basketball and maintaining composure. And well, I think you're 100% you're correct on that oh, one, Pro protect, oh, yeah. protecting the ball. That, I think the Hillers got away with one right there. Just, I mean, he was lucky. Uh, yeah. Drew he stepped over almost line. stepped over the line. Yeah, he almost stepped over the baseline putting that in. A lot of people thought he was close. I think he was more than close. <laughs> <laughs> but they've, they've got the ball now back, yeah. and it, like, there was almost a turnover there at half court. Yeah, you can just feel uh, the stress level and the blood pressure level is kind of going up a little bit on the Hoppington side. They just got to maintain the composure. They're, 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 doing, they're doing fine. Yeah, they, they, they're going to need a lot of uh, good ball handling work and smart work out of Ionelli and, uh, and, and Hyman here. Great pass by Ionelli down the lane, but he couldn't get off the shot. There's DeLuca for three. And he just misses it. And uh, Norwood's got the ball. Here comes Mahoney. And they're swinging it around. They've got him all. I've got a corner shot, a little floater. Oh! Mahoney with a drive. Going for a little up and under. And it looked like a little questionable foul to me. A light little, foul. Yeah. And he's going to go to the line to shoot two here. And this could bring it to a four point game. Bringing Sam Pantera back in the game. Sam has Sam has the ability to be unstoppable. He's got to get in one of those zones where just get the ball down low, and he they need a couple buckets. And I mean, he needs some. They need some rebounding too. Yeah. Someone who who's strong. I don't want to point it out again because too too many times, but they haven't scored. The Hillers haven't scored this quarter yet. Right. We're into it pretty good. And there's two points from the line for Mahoney. Chattel with the ball, back over to Ionelli, back to Chattel. He gets it over to DeLuca at the high post. And they're getting it around. Simulus for three, oh. and he hits it. That was, that was Cole. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was Cole Dysonrod. Dysonrod. Huge hoop. That, that was a real big one, yeah. Dysonrod with some great defense on uh, Baudet there. Baudet drives, drove the lane. He had Dysonrod on him the whole way. With body contact. Great. Another one by Ionelli down the lane. Dish to Dysonroth, who just misses the put the layup, but uh, he gets fouled and he's going to go shoot two. Another great drive by wow. Ionelli, throwing himself into the student section. It's good stuff, man. Cole, Cole Dysonroth, senior captain, taking over. Both ends of the floor here. And he gets the first one to fall. Longo checks back in for Norwood. They need some, they're, they're looking for some size underneath too. And he misses the second one, but uh, brings the Hiller lead up to eight points at this point. See if they can just, uh, again, maintain uh, their composure as a the down protect, under five Protect minutes. the ball. Yep. And Elliot on defense. Oh, that's a foul on Luongo. Luongo, good, showing some good sportsmanship. The, the foul. He, Luongo for uh, for Norwood set a pretty brick wall like pick, and he he didn't never really stop moving. He, he's so late getting there. He kind of wiped out uh, Ian Elliot, I think. Ian Elliot over to Dysonroth. Dysonroth's got the ball. He's Whoa. waiting for Ian Elliot to get over half court. Ionelli got it, he takes it down to the free throw line. Oh, he turns it over. Uh, we got Mahoney taking it the, the length of the court. He's fouled by Ionelli. And that's a one on one situation. And that's going to be the bonus.
But it, uh, he, he saved the layup there yeah, with I the think, foul. I think he, um, that was only his second foul of the game, so he might as well use it. Maddie Mahoney's had a really, really good game. He's a solid player for Norwood, really quick. Yeah, and he handles the ball very well. Here's the first one. So I've got him for 15 points at this yep. right here. And Hyman's going to check back in for DeLuca. They're getting some ball handlers in there. Yep. That's Ionelli and Hyman both in the game. Yeah, you think you need that at yep. this point. And Mahoney hits the second. Yeah. Nord with a quick timeout. Certainly uh, going to have a somewhat of a fantastic finish. Yeah, six-point game right here with four and a half minutes to go. Tom King talking it over to his folks and Coach Fryelli too. So last year I was looking at some of the uh, the data that was collected by our research team, the crack which was research Tom, Tom team. Nappy, who was on assignment tonight, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what he he made a, a point of he he let us know that uh, reminded us and I, I do remember this from last year, Nord being the team that as, as strong as they were they. Um, the Hillers gave him a good game. They they lost 80 to the Hillers lost to Norwood 80 to 76 at Norwood on the 17th of last year, December. So uh, early in the season, that was early in the season. And then when Just Norwood about came, a year ago from right now, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then um, they played at Norwood later on in the season in February, and and um, Norwood took them by 11 points there. And they were they were well on their way to going to the state finals by then. So right now, I mean, you know, this going back, you, you and I are both from Framingham. Norwood used to be in the Bay State League. Mm -hmm. 1978 was the last year uh, Norwood girls and boys varsity teams went to the state finals the same year. So that happened last year again. So 40-something years later. Anyway, back to the game here. Yeah, here we are. Oh, that's, a, that's a travel. Oh, he was hoping for a foul. Chattel traveled with the ball after getting it over half court. So Four minutes to go, four and a half minutes to go, and uh, Norwood forces another turnover. So Mahoney's got the ball. He's going to slowly bring it up. He's got Ionelli in front of him. He gets it over to Bodette. Bodette over to Ryan Kelly. Kelly, ooh, over to Mahoney. He's going to get, he's going to get fouled. So he's going to go to the lane, the line, uh, shoot one and one. Tommy's his second foul. And he hits the first. It's like a tale of two halves here, Wally. You know it sure that. is. It sure is. Now Mahoney's going to shoot his second one. And he brings him back to four points. It's a four-point game. It was Ionelli trying to dribble through the press. Gets it over to Hyman. Hyman's going to wait, get back, get it back to Ionelli. He gets it over half court. Yeah. He's double teamed, but he's fouled there. He and he'll be in the bonus now. So we'll be shooting free throws the rest of the game, both sides. We may get out of here by 10 o'clock tonight. I don't know. <laughs> So Ionelli's going to go to the line here, shoot one and one. He's, he's going to get some, earn some rest uh, after this game. He's been, yeah, maybe some ice too. Yeah, exactly. He hits the first. This is where the free throws are everything right here. <clears throat> this is why you practice them. And he hits the Good second. Job. Well done. Back up to a six-point lead. Mahoney's got the ball with Ionelli on him. He's looking, tries to get over to Bodette. He oh. gets it over. Oh, and Ionelli gets hit in the face, and there's no call. And Bodette hits a turnaround. He's so bleeding. He's bleeding. bleeding. Well, looks like he might be bleeding. Now Hyman's got the ball, and he's getting pressured in the backcourt. He's got to get it over half court. So he gets it over to Pantera, over to Cole Dysonroth, over to Chattel, underneath the basket. To Pantera, who's going to lay it oh. up and in for a, for a one, a bucket and the foul. 
The chest pump from Ionelli. Great sequence there. I mean, Ionelli took a inadvertent. I, I don't think it was intentional. And coming from uh, from Bodet, Bodet, who's built like a linebacker, really great athlete, strong, and he just wiped. He, he just cleared him out. Accidental. And then uh, oh, this is the about. free throw. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't think it was anything intentional there. Just you know, hard contact. Bodet's got the ball again. He's going baseline. He drives. He misses the bucket. He gets his own rebound and he puts it up wow. and in. Yeah. Good hard work by 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 Bodette there. He's in the mission. You can just see he's he's just moving bodies out there. Bodette is. Yeah, he's a big solid kid. Four four points, three minutes and twenty five seconds. I mean, it's a whole different game than it was when eighteen point lead. Yeah, halftime is a totally different story, just like you said. But uh, so I, I, I think we're, we're going to have. Uh, just a question of, I think it's going to come down to free throws, and uh, no, no one really is in any kind of fouls. I don't know if you've been keeping fouls. Uh, I'm trying. You're trying. <laughs> but, no, I don't think anyone's in real yeah. foul. Uh, Pantera, I, has, I have for three. Yeah. That would be the closest. Um, yeah, it's really going to come down to free throws and ball protection. Yeah, at this point, uh, hopefully the Hillers can keep, keep their uh, act together here. It's been a, a well-officiated game, I think. You know, not that we're going to critique them, but that's a tough, it's a tough job. Is there, it, it's the refs' first game of the year too. They're getting their legs under them. Sure, sure. Yeah, and I don't. And there hasn't been any calls that we, anyone's had any kind of you know, real grievance with. I don't think. Right. But uh, yeah, they, 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 they always really have to protect the ball from here on out. Both teams in the bonus. Coach Keen getting his money's worth in that timeout. <laughs> a little extra time. <laughs> And so we've got Dysonroth, Ionelli, Pantera, Chattel, and Hyman in there. Two good ball handlers and a couple of big guys underneath. Dysonroth gets it into Hyman. Hyman's double teamed under the near the baseline. He gets it over to Ionelli. Ionelli drags his foot but gets it over to Dysonroth to Chattel who swings it over to Pantera. Pantera's going to go baseline. Kicks it over to Chattel in the corner for three and he's oh. got it again. Tommy Chatton. Chatting, that's it. Yeah, no, that's I okay. keep calling him Chattel. That's all right. Three-pointer, misses. Chatting with the rebound, out to Dysonroth. He takes it over to Hyman. Hyman's going to go up for three. Didn't really need to at yeah. that point. Going to run some clock. Yeah. Uh, Norwood with the rebound. Odette oh. is just clearing people out all the way to the basket. And he misses the layup. Chatting with the rebound, out to Ionelli. He's going to get it over to Hyman. Hyman's going to... Give it over to Pantera, who's on the baseline, who tries to get it over to nice. Dysonroth, and he does. Dysonroth skips it over to Hyman. Hyman over to Chatton. Chatton takes up to the top of the key, and they, Ionelli pulls it out to settle everybody Woo. down. I think that's the smartest thing to do right there. I'm out of breath listening to you. Yeah. There's a lot of ball movement there. I can't believe I knew all the names. <laughs> Amazing. Ionelli takes it up to the top of the key, gives it over to Hyman. Hyman over to Pantera in the corner. S six seconds. Pantera goes shot. baseline, comes back out. He's looked a little, a little, un, oh. looked a little step through when he gets the bucket under the baseline. Nice step through. And here comes Mahoney. He skips it over. Oh, and uh, Ionelli knocks it out of bounds. So here we go. Two minutes, 201 to go. Hillers with a 69 to 60 lead. They're up by nine with two minutes and one second to go. And it is Norwood ball under their own basket. Well, not under the basket, in the corner, yeah. in their own end. Exactly. Good sequence for the, the Hillers there. Yeah, they, they, they've stepped it up a little notch here to match the intensity of, uh, of Norwood. So Bodette's got the ball, and he's got Dysonroth on him. and he got, He's picked off him. Now Ionelli's got him on the switch that they double team him, and a big, deep three-pointer by Mahoney misses. Pantera gets the rebound in the corner, he's and he's going to call him for a travel. So it's going to be Norwood ball in the corner. They called him for a travel. Sam, yeah, he skipped his feet a little bit. And he, Sam's saying, hey, he pushed me. So, yep. so I think they're both right. <laughs> I, 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 think you're, I think you're right. Yeah. And a timeout right here with a minute 49 to go and the Hillers with a nine-point lead. Yeah, it's hard, you know, I, I don't know, in, your, in our experience, it's very rare that a referee's going to change a call in high school basketball. Never seen it. No. So, but it's, it's okay to plead your case as long as you do it diplomatically. I think Sam was doing that. Uh, that way with you know diplomacy there right but right now with a, under two minutes left nine point lead still not comfortable but it certainly feels a little better at the moment better than four points 
Um, Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you got now you got to protect the ball. And if you can protect the ball and hold the ball in your while you're trying to score, let the shot clock run down, you really can take, you know, half of this time away. And, uh, you know, you keep your nine-point lead, which would be nice. So, so bo both teams with 18 fouls this half. Um, it'd be interesting to see if Norwood decides to, you know, they don't want to let that clock run too too deep into this next possession. It's actually they have the ball, right? So yeah. So yeah, then it'll be interesting. Like you, I know you're going to say, how, when are they going to start fouling? Yeah. So they have a they have an opportunity without being in the double bonus. They they get them on a one and one. Right. So uh, they need for, from Norwood's perspective, they they need a hoop and then they need a a stop. Yeah. They need the ball. Yep. So Mahoney gets it in. Bodet with a deep three. He gets it there, chatting with the rebound. Not a bad over look. Over to Ionelli, back to Chatton. He's going to get it over half court. Back to Ionelli, who hopefully should pull it out and start over. There he does, up at the top. Fall. Now he's getting double teamed. Gets it down to Hyman. Hyman underneath the Dyson Roth, who lays it in. Great look by uh, by Hyman right there. That'll do it. Bodette drives the lane, uh, drives down the corner, and he's fouled by Dyson Roth right there. Good sportsmanship uh, picking. Bodetta off the floor, the Hillers doing that. Yeah, um, nice to see on both teams, actually. So Hillers with an 11-point lead with a minute 21 to go. Bodette's going to be the line shooting two. And he hits the first. I think the Hillers did a great job tonight. I know the game's still going, but... Um, distributing the offensively, a lot of a lot of people scoring tonight for them. Yeah, they, they really have, yeah. and uh, that's 15 points I have for Bodet. He could have more, but that's yep. he has at least 15. Oh, and there's a turnover by the Hillers. The pressure defense turned the ball over. It looked like it could have been the Hillers' ball, but the ref was right there. Yep. Hyman wasn't uh, wasn't happy about the call. So now Mahoney's going to put it in with Ionelli on his face, and Ionelli gets a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds. And do we have a foul call here? Or we on, just I yeah, we have a foul. Drew. Drew Reisenberger. I'm sorry. Cole. Cole I'm sorry. Cole dies in yep. Roth. Yeah, foul on and him. A little, little dyslexia there. Yeah. <laughs> and Bodette's gonna shoot two here, because they're in the double bonus. And he hits the first. I mean uh I'm not, I'm not writing this game off yet here. No, 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 no me neither. Yeah. The three-point line makes a big difference in a game under, you know, 10-point lead. And Bodette hits them both. Bodette, he's a clutch player. He's had a yeah. very solid game, and especially the second half. Seven-point lead. Ionelli gets the ball inbounds. Over to, the, over to Dyson Roth, Great over to is. Chatton, to Hyman, who drives the lane. He puts it up. He just misses, and it's going to be off Pantera. See that? I would have to question them. I would have pulled him, that out. Yeah, just run some clock down, uh, unfortunately. But when he, Hyman got the ball out at the three-point line, I would have kind of waited for everybody. But, yep. you know, you, you, you know, the, you look for the easy bucket also. So now Mahoney's got it with Ionelli on him, and he kicks it over. Back to Bodet. Bodet throws oh. it away. Thought he had a man in the corner, turned to throw it to him, and uh, that was for Casey Sheeran, but he had vacated the corner at that point. <laughs> His whereabouts are unknown at this time. Yeah, but uh, you could see you could see that uh, Bodet right before he released the ball. He's, uh oh, no one's there. Right. And so Hiller's going to inbound the ball. Cole Dyson-Roth's got it. He's going to put it in, and he's going. Oh. oh, and he threw it away. So now Norwood's got the ball. Pantera's got him. Oh, oh he's ripped, picked his pocket. He should pull this out, but he gets the layup instead. Hyman with the wow. layup. Big bucket. Sam Pantera, huge steal. Yeah, there. big, it out big his... steal. That, that could seal the game. Three-pointer just misses. Rebound by Norwood. Back out to uh, Mahoney for three, and he oh. hits it. <laughs> and we got a timeout. Wow. Six points. 30 I, seconds I, left. I mean, the Stranger things have happened. But yeah, and I've got 20, 21 points for um, Manny Mahoney. Wow. For Norwood. So 30 seconds to go. 
Hillers are up six. That's only two three pointers. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, Norwood just took it took a while for them to get their engine running, and one, once they got it running, they're, you know, they definitely uh, had had the better, the upper hand in the second half by a lot to get right. it down to six. They were, they were down by eighteen at the half. So uh, they clawed all the way back. I think four is the closest they've gotten it. Yeah, hats off to them. No matter how this this goes, it's been a great, entertaining first game of the year. Tri-Valley League, very competitive. This Friday night, the, uh, the Holliston boys team will visit here at the Athletic Center for game two of the season, and then the girls uh, will be home next week. Yep, next Tuesday. All right, let's see what the Hillers can do for the next 30 seconds, see if they can hold this lead. That, that was a huge play we just saw. We both agree that Sam Pantera steal. He really used all his strength just to rip the ball Absolutely. out of the guy's hands and then guys get it over to Hyman for the layup. That was huge. Now Cole Dysonroth's going to put the ball in. And he overthrew oh. Chatton again. So now Norwood's got the ball. They're looking in the, in the corners. I got to launch it. And there's Mahoney for three, Not a contested blocked. three. I think he got a piece of that. Chatting with the rebound, out to Pantera, Easy. back to Dysonroth, and he's going to come over half court, and he should hang on to the ball there. He's going he's to get fouled, and there it is. So now Dysonroth's going to go to the uh, line to shoot one and one. I think it's a, du it's a double bonus, so. It's two shots, I think. That's their ninth foul. So I think, oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm, it's I'm still just the one and one. Again, I'm looking at the Hillers there. 12 time, seconds yep. to go, and I, this is, he really needs to hit the keep, first. Keep me in line here. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> now, the first one here is the big one. Yeah, it's great, great distribution of the scoring. Everybody's really well balanced. Uh, Hiller squad. I think they got a. Really okay, I've got eight players scoring for the Hillers, and he misses the first one. But Pantero with a huge rebound, and he dribbles out, and he's fouled. And now he's going to go to the line. He's going to shoot two there. And now we're in the double bonus. Pantero with a super rebound underneath. I think Pantera and Bodet. I'm guessing they play against each other in football because they both play football. I'm just guessing Bodet's a football player. He's not in the golf team. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean that Pantera. in a complimentary way. Oh, yeah, he misses the first. So Pantera and Bodet, I think of uh, this two seasons in a row. I just, again, again, I don't have that confirmed, but I, I know Sam plays football and um, oh, oh, he wow. miss, misses them wow. both. Oh, but we got a hill, got a rebound. Oh, he's out of bounds. Hyman with a great, chatting with the great, gets his hand on it, and Hyman tries to save him headlong out of bounds and just stepped on the sideline. So awesome. it's Nor Norwood ball, six seconds to go. They go long. Bodette's got it. He's going to pull up for three, and it's uh, rims out. Norwood with the rebound again. They throw up another three at the buzzer, and that's it. The Hillers are going to win by six, 73 to 67. They hang on for a big game, big win over uh, last year's semi-finalist uh, in the Division I state championship for a big win for the Hillers the, to open up their season here at the Hopkinton Athletic Center. Well, well that's great, great, great way to start the season. Thankfully, uh, the, Norwood ran out of time at the end. <laughs> they sure, they, yeah, they I, did. I think there was another two or three minutes left in the game. I don't know what would have happened, but, but congratulations to both teams and the coaching staffs for uh, – getting re their teams ready for the uh, the season. And uh, it was a very entertaining game to start the season and uh, looking forward to uh, a bunch of fun games this season. Yeah, I agree with you there. If this was like a hockey game and they had one more period to go, I don't know if the Hillers could have hung on. But um, they really did. They, they withstood a real uh, Norwood defensive onslaught in the second half and uh, really kept their offense together and uh, pulled it off at the end. And it was a great win to open their season against a, a tremendous uh, Norwood team. So with that, we will uh, sign off today, and we'll see you again on uh, Friday night. With You'll have Tom Nappy with the game uh, against Holliston. And until then, so long, everyone.